pretty fish. I feel like it knows it. Whoa. Whoa. What's going on fish nerds? Carlos here on my way to Gerber's Tropical Fish uh, here in Dayton, Ohio, about 45 minutes north of me. Gonna go check it out, do a fish store tour, and uh, it's gonna be about six o'clock before I get there, and they close at seven, and this place is huge. So I kinda doubt that I'll be able to do the entire store, so what I plan on doing is going straight to the freshwater section, tour that, if I still have time, do the salt water, or potentially what I'll probably end up having to do is come back again some other time and tour the salt water, salt water side of the place later. But we're definitely gonna check out the freshwater side today. And look who I got with me. My wife's in an episode. All the freshwater stuff's in here. Peacocks. Goldfish. That's cool how they got pictures of the different ones so you actually know what's what. Yeah, for people like you. <laughs> Chromis. Hmm? Is that a second? Yep, that's a second. Did you get that big? Uh, mine will max out about that size. That one will get a lot bigger. I'm not sure what kind of catfish that is. More peacocks, I think. Nope. Maybe. Half. I, I really need to learn my African cichlids better. This guy. This dude's massive. Africans. Hmm? Yeah, he is cool. I like the uh, the spots on his anal fin, yeah. those yellow spots. That's really cool. And of course, your glowfish. My favorite. Hmm? You say those are your favorite? More Africans. I like this guy. He's sharp. He's pretty cool. I really like him. Give me a side angle. There we go. You like him? He is sharp. Ooh, 
I like him. Not only is it a big room, there's just so many tanks. Because even all up here. Did I miss anything looking over here? Yeah, true. The shard eye, if I'm not mistaken. There you go. Nice. Bunch of tanks all down this side of the wall. A bunch of tetras and some zebra danios. Glow light tetras, surfe tetras, black skirt tetras. Oh, we've got a gold ram in here. Two of them. There go Indian almond lake in there. It's a good size pleco. Looking angels up here. Living room. And this is the RO setup. If you guys have seen Dustin Fish Tank's tour of this place, this system is on RO water. Er, no, I'm sorry. That one is. This one's not. I spoke too soon. It's a nice little sword tail. Cherry barbs, males and females in there. Some blind cave tetras in here. Cool. Some neons down there. These Pristellas, maybe. Oh, what else we got? According to this, there should be an L129 in here. I don't see. This is an L106 right here. Albino cherry barbs. I don't know that I've ever seen albino cherry barbs before. That's pretty cool. Pisto Borella. Tetras, some 
Orange Bomberios. Black Phantoms. That's a good sized Black Phantom back there. Those are real good sized Black Phantoms. Okay, now here's the RO system with your discus. That's a really nice looking discus right there. What we got up here, anything? Nope, doesn't look like anything in the top tanks. Look at that one, Gina. That's a pretty fish. That's a real pretty fish. I feel like it knows it. Look at this guy. S line rainbow. We'll go down this side and then come back down this side. <laughs> Some sevens in here. Knife. What kind of knife fish is that? Gray ghost knife? That is awesome. That is so cool. Never seen one of those before. There's a stock list of these tanks if you want. Just for reference of what we got going on in here. Like those. Dojo Loaches, Emperor Tetras, Congo Tetras. Stella Tetras. Glass Cats. Grammy, gold honey grammies, and then I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. Gia Vegas. Tetris. Supposed to, be, supposed to be panda quarries in here. I don't see any. We've got a bunch of white clouds. Some gold white clouds. Oh, there's a panda quarry. Nothing in there. Sharp right. Angel fish. Excuse me. Got some fire mouse. 
Gold bar minus Gen Gen series. Silver dollars. Blood parrots, red parrots, whatever you want to call them. Silver scat. These guys are actually pretty cool looking. Platties. Giant Danios. Red tail, eight lion rainbow. Pretty sharp fish. Tank of some big old fish. Got your Oscars. Check this guy out. What is he? I'm assuming Senadonis eupterus. I've never heard of it or seen of it. But it's cool. Somebody died. It's like a feeding frenzy right there. Got your Bosmani rainbows. These guys are big, man. For reference. He's bigger. You say he's bigger? Yeah. A little bit. You say what? It looks like his paint is killing. No. I don't know if it's under the green. I don't think it's coming through on camera. But you're right, it does. He's got little random blue spots on there. Yeah, it looks like he's orange underneath and like the, the green's kind of peeling off. The big old dude. A bunch of tiger barbs. Rosy barbs? Yep, rosy barbs. Pick the scats. No. Yeah, poke it up, pick the scats. Albino tiger barbs. Or not albino, the uh well, that's what it says. But they don't have red eyes. So I don't know what's up with that. They're cool looking though. You like him? Those are some good sized tiger barbs. Got, uh, what we got going on here? He's sharp looking. Those are some good looking rainbows. This guy just looks like he's mean. He wants to fight somebody. He wants to fight the camera. Larger comets, feeder guppies, ghost shrimp, and some mixed live bears. We've got some swords, platies, etc. This guy is cool looking. He's got all the colors. We'll focus on him.
archer fish. And yeah, yeah, he'll spit at bugs and stuff. I don't know what he is. There's your list to identify him from. Oh, I didn't see these. Yeha cichlid. Little frog. Big old crayfish. These guys are huge. Got some loaches and some sickles over here. I guess it's water change time. Little puffer. Guessing that's a green spot puffer. Maybe. It's either a green spot or a figure eight, but he's not sitting still long enough or facing for me to be able to tell. I think, anyway. I don't see a sign. Yeah, figure eight slash green spot puffer. So there you go. Cichlids up here. Oh, is that a is that a Zorro cat? No, it's a false tigranus. He's cool. I'm trying to get my reflection out of the picture so you can see him. There we go. He's really cool. But he'll get really big. Tiger shovel nose. Try and get out of the way for them too. There we go. A little better. That's not one to focus on. Them. Nah. They're in there. Look at this guy hanging out in here. fish in there. Some barbs, some Odessa barbs. Some plaid, or no, some mollies, I'm sorry. And some Dinios, white clouds, sick tiger barb. Looks like a albino Bashir maybe. Called it. Check in. He's cool. Another false tigerness. A rubber lip plaque going there. Should be a dinosaur polypterus in here. Yep. There he is. Little bitty guy. Got some Oscars. Don't know what's in there, if anything. Check him out. Uh, lace cat. Or is this... I don't know what's what. Now this is a Cynodonis. So this, I believe, would be the lace cat. Correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Guys, mean looking. And Lasheri Polyphus, if I'm pronouncing that right. 
or uh, or not a penis lifters. These are the or not a penis lifters. Ooh, he's coming out to say hello. Yeah. I got some monsters. This guy's really cool looking. Check him out, Gina. He's like a dinosaur monster fish. I love how out and about he is too. His markings are real cool too. dark I can't tell what's in there a big old cat it's a Herodorus granulosus check this dude out I'm assuming that's some sort of red parrot hybrid. <laughs> He's cool looking. Some more mollies over there. Playing a tank. Got your swords. Angelfish. It's a nice looking lily. Dwarf lily. Ooh, that's a sharp looking whip tail cat. That's a cool pattern on him. That is really cool. Some, looks like some super red cool angels. Swords and crypts. We got the whole planet set up here. Some Ludwigia. Java fern and stuff up there. Better? Oh, good. Your sword tails in the sword plants. More swords and crypts and a few stem plants in here with some mollies. Got some fry swimming around down there. This rack wasn't here last time I was here. Fancy guppies, assassin snails, plants, some dwarf sack. No? What is that? What is that plant? Doesn't say. But that looks like a looks like root sash, but with like a root bulb bulb on the bottom of it. If you know what this is, comment below and let me know. Some more guppies, some more more guppies. Some Achilles. Oh my goodness. Check out that Philly. Trying to get the focus on it. There's a glare on the tank that's causing it to be tough for the camera to focus. Back up a little bit. Here we go. Check that out. Tell me that's not an awesome fish. That is a super awesome fish. Rubra penis killing. Never heard of it, but I like it a lot. You see it? Look at that, Gina. It does look like a red velvet. Get it and name it Cupcake. Some balloon electric blue ram, it looks like. More W's, more W's. 
And what is that? Is that a peacock? Yes, not. I don't know what that is. It's cool looking. Got these. Some pencil fish. Some female betas. And some Julii Cori's. Blue barred barbs. Desert gobies. These are cool. Of course, with your mystery snails all up in here. A little bitty pleco in there. Oh, they got some rabbit snails in here. Check these out. That dude's huge. That dude's as big as my finger. And some cherry shrimp in here. Back in the back. Some crystal reds. And those black blue reallys. Looks like a scud in there too. Hmm. Some more mystery snails. Got some cool rock and driftwood all over the place in here too. We got this guy, the tiger salamander. He's cool. Not sure what's in there. Water dog in there somewhere maybe. Oh, yep, yeah, way back in the back. Big old mollies, black beans, white skirt. Got some more driftwood, some fake plants. A bunch of Anubias over here with all the all your green quarries. Albino quarries, or Siamese algae eaters, geophagus. Whoa! This dude's like a lobster, man. Look at them whiskers. What is that? That's a marble Akara cat. That's awesome. That's not a small red parrot either. A red parrot's as big as my hand. But this dude is cool, man. That is awesome. I don't know what's hiding back in there. Texas cichlid, that's what's hiding back in there. Some comets, or I'm sorry, red fantails. Please excuse me. Little Pleco, looks like some feeders in there. Check out this big boy. There's a little snack he left behind. Ooh, is he gonna get it? Is he gonna eat it? If you're still watching this video, stay tuned because the tanks that are behind me right now are epic and you want to see them. Bunch of convicts. Some gar. Alligator gar. These guys are awesome. Dude will become massive. And that big old jaguar cichlid. Yep. 99.99 for this big bad man pajamba. He's huge. He's a good 
14 inches long at least. Matoro Stingray. This is freshwater, Gina. I want one of these one day. There's only one problem, they get like this big around. That puffer we saw earlier. Another Matoro. Piranha. Texas cichlid and green terrors. Green terrors sparring through the glass. That's cool. Traded these in. Big old pleco. All right, prepare yourselves for this row right here. Paku. It's enormous. The red tail cat down there. You hope what? Oh. <laughs> I don't know what it, this is, but it's huge. That's a three foot long fish. And looks like a big old red tail cat. Yeah, that's a big old red tail cat in there. Is he going to come up and say hi? Nope. It's going back, back in the back. Look at those rainbows. Oh my goodness. I love everything about this tank. I don't know what size it is, but I love it. That's a three, would you say three foot long, or three foot tall? Two foot deep, and eight foot long? Maybe. It's at least six foot. It looks longer than six foot to me. It might it it might just be scale. It might only be seven. I don't know. It looks bigger than six, but it doesn't look like eight. I don't know, but it's enormous. And this guy right here is awesome looking. Barbs. Looking good. Look at that. I don't know what kind of rainbows those are. So if you know what kind of rainbows these are, tell me because I love them. Bob Steenfuck, come tell me what are these things? I need them. Meanwhile, check this guy out. That's a gar. And he's a good two and a half feet long, at least. Yeah, I'm gonna say these are eight foot tanks. Two feet deep, three foot high-ish. 
This is a monster tank of monster fish. What do you think of this Oscar, Zena? He's cool. pretty cool looking. Flower horn. I love every one of these catfish. The marble, the t I think that's a tigerness. I think. I could be wrong. It might just. Oh, here we go. It tells. I don't know if that's readable on camera or not. But that is a tiger shovel nose, not a tigerness. A like couple more flower horns. Oh, you like him? This is epicness. Check this out. Big old silver dollars. Some scat. Check out this Geo. This guy's awesome. See what I missed in here? There's just some goldfish in there. Or, uh, excuse me, koi. Those are koi. Did I miss anything over here? Nope. Some more koi. Sarasa comets. African scat in here. Check him out. This is crazy. Some big old clown loaches. That's a that's a six inch clown loach right there. Something's bones back there, it looks like. Got some green severum, some geos. These guys are really cool. I go he's looking at me so I can't get a good look at him. He is gorgeous. Gotta block that glare. guys well that covers the freshwater section here at Gerber's Tropical Fish there's no way I've got time to do the saltwater section before they close so I'm gonna cut it off now and I'm gonna buy something and I will come back again another time and tour the saltwater section let me know what you thought was the coolest fish here down in the comments below if you like this video give it a big thumbs up you guys are awesome. I appreciate you watching this video. God bless you, fish nerds. I will see you next time.
golden vampire pleco. Real quick, guys. Red Cap Aranda. What did you say it was? Donald Trump. 